How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and children, and mothers and fathers, and teachers, and people? I am the professor, Julia Sumner Miller, and we do physics in this place. And our physics today <clears throat> has to do with the loop, the loop. Consider the following. Here I have a circular hoop connected to a track down upon it and around with the track out from it, resting on the floor. Now, what do I propose to do? I propose to roll a ball from some elevation such, H, say, so that it goes down, gains some kinetic energy, makes the loop here, and passes off here. Question, how high does that have to be in terms of the radius of the loop? I'll play with it a little while, then I'll show you some mathematics quickly and point out some things that are always wrong in the books. So, here we have it. You know, I wish the professor could invent something to help Brucey. The long track around so and out so. Consider a steel ball. Watch it now. Well, it clearly did not go. Why? Not enough potential energy, not enough kinetic, not enough velocity here to keep it. Keep it what? Keep it pushing against the wall of the track. Or keep the wall of the track pushing against it. Now somebody says, oh yes, I know, centrifugal force. But you remember early in these programs, I made it clear that that language is used abundantly wrong. So let me go a little higher. Aha, that did it, beautiful. Oh, and I like that oscillatory motion. So let me do it with another ball. Larger. Beautiful, beautiful. Let it go. Oh, notice, notice, notice. I like that. I like it because it's highly elastic. You remember I wrote some equations on the board earlier whereby you could find, and I want to write them again because they're delightful to engage in, the total time that ball would bounce. You see how I am diverted. The total time it would bounce is as follows. See, I don't remember formulas. No, don't remember. One plus E and one minus E. And the total distance it goes is one plus E square over one minus E square. See, I, I do this again because mathematics is so essential to your life. Absolutely, especially if you are going to understand nature at all. But let me go back here. From what height must this be dropped? Answer, five halves the radius. That is, two and a half radii. There's one radius, there's two radiuses, there's a half a radius more. Now, what do I wish to point out? The books always say five halves are, and it shows a ball rolling. And that is not right. Five halves are is for a block sliding without friction. An idealization of the case because you could have sliding without friction, but you could never have rolling without friction. So I leave it to you to think about. Since rolling has two energies, kinetic energy of translation and kinetic energy of rotation, should the ball, will the ball have to be higher if it rolls? And the answer is yes. And I leave that for you to think about and to consult about with your teachers, which is part of our hope in this program. And now, another enchanting thing. Two spheres on a string, and I'm going to do that. And you will see that they speed up as they get closer. About this, we shall talk another time. Thank you for watching.